Okay, so in this video, I'm going to give you an introduction into esters. Okay, so for GCSE, there's only actually one ester that you need to know. I'm going to build it up slowly on the page for you so you can see how it, where it comes from. So uh, we have two carbons, okay, and on one of the carbons is a double bond to an oxygen, a single bond to another oxygen. So at this stage, it's the same as a carboxylic acid. The difference between an carboxylic acid and ester is attached to this oxygen here is another carbon. Okay, and I'm going to do two carbons because this is the example that you have to be able to recognize a name for um, GCSE. Okay, so then just like before, we fill all the, the other four bonds that each carbon needs with hydrogens. Okay, so each carbon's got four hydrogens on. Okay, this carbon has four bonds, one, two, three, four, so it doesn't need anything else. And then this carbon over here needs, uh, still needs uh, three hydrogens. Okay. Now, the way you name these is kind of a bit backwards from how you tend to draw them. Okay. Uh, in that you name it, sort of naming it from the right hand side first. Okay. So on this side over here, we have two carbons. Okay. So two times carbon. Okay. So the first part of the name is ethyl okay and then on the left hand side in this example okay we also have two carbons okay so the second part of the name is ethanoate okay so overall this molecule is called ethyl ethanoate okay and there's a, another way you can draw them using the structural formula Okay, and similar to before, you start from the left and work your way across one carbon at a time. Okay, so first we've got a CH3. Okay, and then we have this ester functional group, which is COO. So COO. We've then got CH2. And then finishing off with a CH3. Okay, so for, for GCSE, this is the only ester that you need to be able to name and draw and recognize. Okay, so ethyl ethanoate, two carbons on this side, two carbons on this side, and that's the way you draw the structural formula. Okay, but you will sometimes be expected to recognize uh, an, ex, an ester based on its name or based on uh, a diagram. Okay, so I'll just give you a couple of other examples. Okay, so this time we're going to have um, still two carbons on this side, double bond to an oxygen single bond to another oxygen and this time instead of having two carbons we're just going to have one okay so then we're going to go around and fill in all the hydrogens okay so this time we've only got one carbon on the right hand side okay so the first part of the name is not ethyl but methyl Okay, the left hand part of the molecule is the same as the previous example. Okay. Two carbons there. Okay, so the second part of the name in this example is the same as the first example. It's called uh, methyl ethanoate. Okay, and then the way we can uh, do that is a structural formula. Again, start from the left, work your work way across. So CH3. For that bit, C O O, and the last part is C H three. Okay, we'll do just one more example of these, just so you get an idea. So this time we'll have three carbons on the left. So one, two, three. Double bond to an oxygen, single bond to an oxygen, and let's have two carbons on the right hand side. So one, two. Okay, and then we go in just like before and put in all the hydrogens that we need. This carbon's currently got one, two, so it needs two more. This carbon's only got one bond, so it needs three more. This carbon's got two bonds, so it needs two more hydrogens. This carbon's only got one, so it needs three. Okay, and then number of carbons on the right hand side is two. We've got two carbons, so the first part of the name is 
ether, the left hand side of the molecule this time, there are three carbons. Make, you have to make sure to count this carbon here. A lot of people think that that's two carbons and this is part of the ester, but the way you name it is that you treat that as being one carbon chain. Okay, so this one is called ethyl propanoate. Okay, and uh, the reason these are all um, esters is because they've all got uh, a functional group Okay, the functional group this time is called an ester. Okay, and in these molecules, it's the the carbon double bond to the oxygen, single bond to another oxygen, but on both sides attached to a carbon. So it's essentially that bit there in that molecule, that bit there in that molecule, and that bit there in that molecule. Okay, so that overall you've got there a quick intro into esters.